mercy in the name of Jesus 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 mercy mercy on the earth mercy on the earth mercy on the earth mercy 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 on the Republic of Ghana mercy in the name of Jesus mercy on our president mercy my God we pray mercy we pray mercy we pray let our country receive favor mercy Amen. Um, I'm excited to have all of you in Jesus' precious name. It is an honor and a joy. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you thanks. I give you praise. I give you glory for your favor and your faithfulness. You are worthy to receive all honor, worship, and praise. Now I ask in the name of Jesus that your mighty hand will brood over us in this very, very, very critical moments and interesting times. Speak your word in clarity. In the name of Jesus, do us good. Bring your people to the place of understanding and clarity. In the name of Jesus, we rebuke the enemy. Every noise we come against it. In the precious name of Jesus, have your way. We will be careful to give you honor, glory, worship, adoration, and praises forever and ever. In Jesus' precious name, somebody shout a good amen and amen. Well, I'm excited to welcome all of you into the presence of the Lord. You can see me, you can see Willie. I think it is a great honor. Uh, we study in God's word, in God's presence. We give God the glory for his favor and faithfulness. And we welcome everybody on board. Now, I want you to do me a favor. Everybody who comes up, this is the only thing you can do for the Lord and for the kingdom. Share the page right now. Can you do so? And then we are going to use the opportunity to, you know, dissect into the fullness of the uh, goodness of the grace of God. It's going to be a great blessing to God's people like never before. My name, once again, Kofi Odro. This is uh, a live broadcast service We're transmitting live from uh, Amponsa Memorial Temple right from our uh, office uh, to you. It is a joy and a blessing in Jesus' precious name. Today I'm going to read uh, our foundation scripture, John chapter 12, verses 20 and 21 to God's people. And I would like you to, you know, do me the favor of reading the key Bible, but I am going to read the English version. The Bible said, there were seven Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same therefore came to Philip, which was on the side of Galilee and desired him saying, sir, we want to see Jesus. The same therefore came to Philip, which was on the side of Galilee. They desired him saying, sir, we want to see Jesus. Guys, I welcome you dearly to the presence of the Lord. Will you come a bit closer and uh, let your face appear uh, pretty well. You did a very profound uh, worship. I would like uh, Pastor Steve to give us a background also on the, you know, lower just a little bit. And let's have a background um, from any lovely hymn now. It's going to be a great blessing. And I'm going to speak the mind and the heart of God, the intentions of the Lord to God's people. It's going to be a great moment. Will you are in some pity? You know, a tear to me, you know, 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 Na hila fubu wano ba aso ni besu wa fashion na sinimu Eno ba filipo ao fribe isaida wa gelele ya nonchi Eno beka chene so ura Yepe siyo huni yesu Eno ba filipo ao fribe isaida wa gelele ya nonchi Eno beka chene so ura this is a very powerful thing. I would like us to go further and read Luke chapter number 21 verses number 34 to 36. Luke, the 21st chapter, the 34 to the 36 verses. The Bible said, take heed unto yourselves, least at any time your eyes be overcharged with suffering and drunkenness and the curse of this life. And so that they come upon you on a worse for as a snow, it shall come upon all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may 
may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Watch ye therefore, pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. Yeshua uh, Mikinka, ye ye free look up and sempa itra a year. And you're back when you move here, you are standing in the sin and you are sensitive and sempano. So you look at a children of Israel and itra. Here you're back when you move here, you are standing in the sin and you are sensitive and sono. We can go on and see every day as well. Koko bo, I think you are saying. Well, na moja mumiye, na pochana ni sabro ni kwe muni yamahonda biene hau anse makomaso. Ready the word. Na mbetu mu bofu mse fidi. Na beba ona tia sasi ni nini nina so? Inti mu we na moja da. No one yang wanted the Jenny Free Numer Bebenimo, no more could only Pabin. It's a moment when I'm on Sweda. No one yang wanted the Jenny Free Numer Bebenimo, no more could not only Pabin. I was here for me, Mamuna, a joke. I want to greet everybody in the presence of the Lord and thank God for His mercies and His grace. Since I have a diverse audience uh, tonight, I am going to try to incorporate everybody into it so that everybody will be able to be blessed as I speak a common language and also, you know, do an interjectory. Uh, expostulation and all stuff like that so that the hand of the Lord and the grace of God will be our portion. So if you have joined us, the only thing you can do for the Lord in this very crazy moment it will be to share the page for the Lord because God has an intention and we will want to speak the intents of the Lord to God's people. That is what we seek to do. Network has messed up from 6 o'clock till now. It's okay. God possibly was gathering you to be part of the audience. And so we count it all joy to have all of you in here to speak the mind and the intentions of God. Now, COVID-19 uh, or coronavirus have plagued the world. And this particular uh, uh, thing is, was predicted by the word of the Lord in Matthew chapter 24 verse number 7. Clearly the Bible talked about it. But I would like you to be reading English more for me. If I need the G Bible, I would like you to recreate it also in that language for us. But for now, I am going to ask everybody to pay rapt attention because I'm speaking to the world community. The first thing I would like to let you know is fear not. Too many people are afraid. But I don't think that there is any need for anybody to be afraid because uh, there is no need for that. God knows them that are here. So if you are part of God's people, why do you fear? Matthew for nations shall rise against nations. The Bible said nations will rise against nations. And kingdom against kingdom. Kingdom will rise against kingdom. And there shall be famines. Let me interpret that very clearly, exegetically, as we, you know, work the word of the Lord, you know, to God's people. Or my nations will rise against nation. We have seen America risen against Iran, Iran against America. We have seen all these kind of things that have gone up over the time. I'm speaking the mind of God to God's people. You better hear the revelation of God's word. We're studying the scriptures, the Bible. You see with ideas. And so everybody pay rapt attention and let us work to the glory of the Lord. And the grace of God will be our portion. When we say kingdom rising against kingdom, will you read on? And there shall be famines. Before the famines, the kingdom will rise against kingdom. All these uh, uh, insurgent groups and uh, extremist, extremist groups, all these, uh, uh, what, how do we call them? Um, uh, now I'm trying to, separatist. Separatist. Possibly in Ghana we have one separatist group. Uh, the Western Togoland uh, people. I think they are the only people who don't have coronavirus on the earth because uh, <laughs> their, their people have gone into exile. We have all these kind of groups, you know, around. ISIS, uh, what, what are, uh, Al-Shabaab, Boko Haram. Where are all of you? You are all afraid of corona. Huh? Musuru, where are all of you? I thought you could fight anything. Come out and fight Corona. They are all into hiding. Say, Musuru, we are I didn't know that. 
and some can crap on here. Yeah, so my mere February, yes, I bring a microphone. I send the Kakrao. Read on, and there shall be famine and pestilence. Why will people be fighting over toilet paper? I want to ask you if there is no farming, why will people be fighting over toilet paper? Why will I fight over toilet paper when there are so many papers in my, my, my house? The people are fighting over toilet paper. I'm the brody and the old fighting over toy a commerce. There is famine on the earth, and the Bible talks about different kinds of farming. There are people you know that goes on, and the amazing thing you know, we would like to uh, you know, work on the goodness and the grace of God. Will you? For the sake of understanding, I'm going to allow you to do something very profound for me. You are going to read from verse number 3 downwards and you read quickly in the English version so that we can build up on the revelation of God's truth and uh, the hand of the Lord will be a portion. If I want you to stop, I will let you stop. I don't want you to read it in three reason is because I have a diverse audience of uh, people that are watching from every part of the world and all that. So I will kindly would like you to, you know, stick to uh, well, so that the, the grace of God will be a portion. Can you start and let's read. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming? Come on. And of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not the trouble. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nations, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Come on. And all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Read. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Verse 13. But he that shall endure... The Bible the said, he that shall endure to the end. The same shall be saved. The same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all this the world gospel of the kingdom shall be preached to all the world can you twist your chair and face the camera the people are also watching you as well talk to me sir and and, and he shall and he that shall endure unto the end the same shall be saved and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the this world this gospel of this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached amazing thing he was not talking about the gospel of materialism the gospel of condemnation, the gospel of the kingdom. Let's see exactly what the word of the Lord has got to say. And what's but this is the job of the pulpit. I want to tell the church in Ghana, don't be afraid. We congregating, and now that we are not congregating in a particular place as we do, you know, shouldn't be able to deter people. People are scared, people are crushed, people are it, it tells you. You know, when the Bible was talking about in First uh, Timothy, sorry, Second Timothy chapter 4, when the Bible said in verse number 2, preach the word, be instant in season and out of season. This particular season is out of season. You cannot be tuned to a particular way. Come up a little bit, Steve. You cannot be tuned only to a particular way. That is why I said that this crisis... This plague that have hit the earth, it is going to expose so many flaws. It is going to expose systemic failures. It is going to expose leadership failures. Not only in politics and in governance, but also in the church. You are going to see prepared ministers and unprepared ministers, I'm telling you. You are going to see very creative, innovative leaders and ideas and all that. And you are going to see also flaws, people who have no plan. I'm telling you. Many people did not take social media serious. Many people did not take technology serious. Now, the time 
is now due where we have taken the gospel from the church confines, the four walls of the church and we have brought it into the domain of technology. Now you realize that so many people have no idea what this whole thing is all about. You have one week to adjust yourself. I'm telling you, it will be rough before it gets better. I'm telling you, people don't want the truth. But that's the truth. That's the truth. That is the truth. And that is why in verse number 7, he was reiterating some, can you do me a favor? Everybody who have come on, I want you to press the share button. Let it go far. We, we have, I am going to be explaining the events that are going on in this world. I am going to use, you know, eschatological content of scripture to tell you where we are and where we will be going from here. There is hope for the righteous. There is hope for the righteous. Be at peace. There is hope for the righteous. I want to speak the heart of God to God's people. There is hope for the righteous. Hope and it has what it will be. We can guide by seven in the UBT. For nations will rise against nations, nations will rise against them. Pull the chair here, pull the chair here. Let's see your face. Nations shall rise against nations and kingdom against, and kingdom. Kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famine. The Bible said there shall be famine and pestilences, famine and pestilences. Walk around the other day, why you plural pestilences. A plague have hit the earth. It is called coronavirus. As I speak to you, Ghana has recorded its fifth case. Number, its seventh case. Number seven person have been confirmed positive. Today, America has confirmed 5,000 cases in 20 days. 5,000 cases. Can you imagine that? Italy is going to bury yesterday's casualties. Ladies and gentlemen, the casualties of yesterday in Italy only, it was 365 people. The number of the days of a year, they died in one day. Can you imagine that? I can't believe this. They died in one day. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight, I want to speak to the wise. I want to speak to the wise. Will you, first of all, I want you to read, there will be pestilences, and this is the plague. The plague that have hit the earth un unbelievably is such that, you know, when I began to talk about this plague, many people didn't believe it. Because the Bible have already outlined it in Isaiah chapter 13. When you begin from verse number 4, the Bible was speaking about some very crazy stuff. It was crazy in the sense that it didn't make sense to cognitive or comprehension, human comprehension. And that is what I call, I term it crazy. The Bible said things that will not make any sense to human beings. But now I'm telling you, most of the things that Cofidro preaches and stands for is now making sense to you. Say Yenyan Samamo. A king, oh, kingdom, some number of photo, can quasi as them. Tell you, I could have been functional. As you have been now, but I have a crock crop. Every year you will make a king, I'm yard in a real travel. I've said, I'm going to pursue it. It was a man for William Wakigan. But you say, the noise of a multitude in the mountains. The Bible said. The noise of the multitude in the mountain, like as of a great people, as of a great people, and tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations. The by and I'm telling you, the turmoil of the nations are crying. We to you. A tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Bible said a tumultuous noise of the nations have gathered together. The Lord of hosts mastered the host of the battle. The Lord of hosts is mastering the host of the battle. They come from a far country. They have come from a far country. From the end of heaven. From the ends of heaven. Even the Lord. And the weapons of his indignation. Time to destroy the whole land. Dear you. To destroy the whole land. To destroy the whole land. Can't be that for me. How ye for the day of the Lord is at hand. The day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Dear ye. 
a baby so was say a free would doom for you. Therefore, shall all hands be faithful. Then all hands and some of you go this evening. I was listening to President Trump, and as he was speaking, I could see a very frail leader. And some of you go, I'm telling you, the hands have become frail. How will a leader be happy when his people are dying just like leaves? And some of you, can you share the page? Everybody that has come on, I want you to share the page. Now the people that died, what happened to the Amazaratis? What is going to be of the Afararis? Can somebody tell me? I want to know. People have money, but they can't buy life. They have cash, physically. It cannot pay for life. Share the page. I want you to do that. Elipa Wiska Baden Tongwa. Is you serious? I want to tell the heart of God to God's people tonight. The devil made it all world round that this will not happen, but it's happening. Power outage, the moment we were going to come up, the power went off. You know, network, we have not less than four different internet companies that have powered the live feed. All will not work. So she we are me catch them and say, "Ya me tell you, we some me catch them. Ya me man agree and say if we are, ti ani ya, ene ye nyam fi ya ye ye juma kakra ma Christo, juma kakra o ye wasi ye me Christo pesu ti ani ye ba. We need the best man we do. Now I want you to read that. And every man's heart shall shall melt. The Bible said every man's heart will melt. And Steve, do you know that I have been preaching about this particular thing? And you know, when you are screaming, you say, why is he screaming? Now you are screaming. I'm asking you, why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? Well, I, then we were speaking. They are asking, why is he? I am asking you tonight, why are you screaming? Why are you afraid? Why are you so afraid? Tia for there is a very serious thing that we need to be working on tonight in this place. Hey! Ready, Dano? I beg you. Jina, so to person send name over Google. Kigakuni kakrema mti, kigakuni kakrema mti. Verse four. 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 Verse and all these things are in the scriptures. So these are when you preach this, the people talk rubbish, and they are rubbish. He is preaching Old Testament. Why would the New Testament make sense without the old? How can you you were doing theology? You have done theology, have done advanced theology. How can you know uh uh, what is it called? Exegetically, etymologically, you know, theologically, when you study systematic theology, you know, it starts with theology, uh, Christology, pneumatology, soteriology, eschatology. Now, it begins on that order. How will that to you? How will the New Testament make sense without the old? The Bible said very clearly, or say, all the prophets prophesy until John, since that time, the kingdom of everybody is pressing to enter into the kingdom. It's our quotation. It's our quotation. And so we don't care whether, you know, they plunge us into the thing that our air conditioners are not working. I don't care. I have a message from the Lord that I need to push to you. Hallelujah. But your Matthew chapter 11, uh, verse, but your verse 10, Eba. King of Okay, but your nine, I'll say, and I'll say, I didn't tell you, I'm free at you. Mobile show you for an anime, someone say, 
or so do you from Bo? Or you need the one Sam said, Share, there is some for Eddie Winning. Man, no, 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 a different nation come back to see. Okay, but you're very state. Read the word. Now, different in the nation, I'm running on share. Come go see your hands. Now, some people say, "Mojia, oh, you need a little hour, but you're watching in momentum." There be, you know, a free hold on. What can we do? Come on, I need you to watch. Now, you're the pre, a pre, you're a pre. Come on, I need you. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm the man says, I'm the man who 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 says, I'm the man if you pray, if you run the best story, I took on my run and move free as here, Edgin. No more boy, I put on my say, Oh, right here. Who are you? No more boy, I must say, Mudia, me, no, dear, move free. See, hey, but even that this is not the scripture. We read it last Sunday. This is not it. He said, you know, all the prophets prophesied until John. From that time onwards, we the, the kingdom of God is being preached and everybody pressed into it. Obia pray we be with them. King guys, I want to spend it. And yet, this is not it. This is not it. If I'm in my main family, I'm in the mouth. One of you, bro. Then you have to pray for them. They tell you. We can't say, when you pray, say, oh, what are you going to issue? Oh, what are you going to issue? Look, sister. Ah, I'm going to ask you, bro. 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 I'm going Rani a deal for no, a bepim you had this. A free and also a free no swan. When I'm here, he near was some yer cat. No, be a number. Be a hat. This is what the world should be hearing now. More power talk. Jimmy and Libri Bugrim. I'm telling you. Jimmy and Libri Bugrim. I'm telling you. Jimmy and Libri Bugrim. I'm telling you, Tia Sama make it canny. Will he go back to you know? Even this, I would like you to read the same scripture in English for me, please. Luke chapter 16, verse 16. Read the word. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man pressed into it. Read it again. And Take your time. And the law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man pressed into it. My God, read it for the last time. The law and the prophets were until John. Since that time, the kingdom of God is preached, and every man pressed into it. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to use the opportunity, you know, to build it from here. And everybody, I would like you to, you know, take this very, very you know, very serious. The New Testament can never make sense without the validation of the Old. The prophets prophesied about the Christ in the Old Testament. The prophets determined the mind of God in the Old Testament into the New. In other words, everything that is going to happen in this last days has been prophesied already. The mind of God has been spoken. This is not that type of prophecy. I mean, I'm casting away the wind. We know that is not what I'm talking about. We are talking about great events that will happen to the world. We are talking about the four kingdoms that are, you know, going to represent before. We are going to, we are talking about the events of the statue of Nebuchadnezzar. The meaning Eschatologically, me patcho tia semi ye. And you're very, very serious. Why are you having to say we are sin and when you buy a semi who sends say? I feel the Muaba Betram was here, Kenya, Mia Bija, Mamunti, ye, 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 
The, and the law of the prophet was unto John. No, no, no. Let's go back to, uh, you know, it's whether it's Isaiah or whatever it is. You know, Isaiah chapter 13. Everybody who have joined us, you know, I want you to, you know, take note and let's build up on something very, you know, see Isaiah chapter number. Uh, you, let's, let's, you know, work with that from there. Verse 9. Behold, and the day of the Lord cometh. The day of the Lord, it cometh. Cruel both with wrath and fierce. The Bible said the day of the Lord is cruel both with wrath. And anger. And anger. To lay the land desolate. It will lay the this is a prophecy in the scriptures that determines the end time. It will it is going to lay desolate the land. And he shall destroy the sinners thereof. The Bible said it would destroy sinners thereof. In America, right now, do you know that as I speak to you right now, gays, men, gays that are numbering up to about about three thousand. Close to 3,000 gays on a beach. Some having sex on beach. When they finished, half of them have corona. In the act, they are being punished. And yet, if you put me up in such a way, can you me up in such a way? What is it? 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 Come and face it. I'm asking a very profound question. Where are all the people who say they have concoctions that you know denote power? Where are they? Bring your power and cure uh, Ebola me, coronavirus. Come and prove your power to me. I want to see it. It is a very serious business. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their life. If you have just joined us, share the page. We are reading Isaiah chapter 13. We are telling you one of the events prophetically that have been outlined by the word of the Lord. The things that are happening right now. This was written. You know, when the wise men really went to the house of Pharaoh, Herod, when Jesus was born, the Bible makes an emphatically clear a revelation. The, they, they ask where is the king of the Jews that is born and the Bible said and Herod called the wise men and inquired of them where the king of the Jews should be born they did an introspective inquisition introspective not a retrospective introspective inquisition they brought the wise men and they ask the wise men where location geographically should be the king of Jews be born and the Bible makes emphatically clear they mention according to you Matthew chapter 2 verse 7 Matthew 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 2 verse 7 then Herod, when he had privately called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. Then Herod, when he inquired of them what time the star appeared, read. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when he, well, he when he had found him, read few uh, previous two verses. Let's see what the Bible has got to say. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem, Judea, for thus it is written by the prophets, and thou Bethlehem in the land of Judea art not the least among the princes of Now Israel. listen, all this was written. The prophets have prophesied. You know, the Bible said the sons of Issachar, they knew the times, they knew what Israel had to do and or ought to do. And the Bible said the heads of them were too. 200. There were 200 people who could determine why Corona is here now, when Corona will leave, how many people will die, how many people will leave, and the peace that will be restored back onto the earth. There were people like that in the scriptures who could determine that in you. Now, everybody is confused. Everybody is afraid. And even leaders are afraid. And all that they can tell their people, don't be afraid, but they themselves are afraid. The point is this. There are so many things that the Bible has already outlined. It has been prophesied. It has been already been determined. It has been determined. Most of the assessing magazine, I'm going to say, 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 I'
A kingdom someone and for kickens. I'm telling you the mind and the heart of God. This is a very serious thing. It is not a time for any kind of joke. We are speaking the heart and the mind of God to God's people. They need not to joke with it. Tia Samoa e kekani. And ya Samoa e didi a grokra. E we we are set. Now we be a Christo tin muno. E who and tin mu? Tia. When Christ lives in your heart, there be pandemic there can be a plague there can be a pestilence you don't care because the bible said mark the righteous behold the upright the end of that man is absolute peace peace why are you afraid if it's a human and that is why we are trembling and I'm going to catch you again if you are done well will you not be bold and courageous will you not be accepted I'm speaking the heart of God. Will you come back, brother? Watch me count from verse two. No, was it saying, "Where is he that is born king of the Jews?" Aha, uh -huh. King Gabriel. For, for we have seen a star in the east, really? and I come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, he, he was troubled. Dead. He was troubled. Troubled. And all Jerusalem with him. Tell you quiet. And when he had gathered all the chief priests, he got first thing he did after being troubled. He gathered all the chief priests together. And then he said to and them, and he demanded of them where Christ should be. Born. He did all these people are on salary, they are on payroll. What to them, one you have demanded, tell me where the Christ must be born. Quiet. And they said unto him, Bethlehem of Judea, Bethlehem of Judea, specific according to their inquisition of the scriptures. They went exactly where we need people who can interpret this. I'm telling you correctly. Well, I'm, say, I'm telling you, it is going to review the flaws of governments, of institutions, of administrations, of political, whatever, whatever. The next thing that this thing is, this coronavirus is going to do, is going to review people in the church. If God has not called you, you can't survive it. I'm telling you. You will not survive it. Because now the people are not coming for you to deceive them. Now we have restricted the whole ministry to what we are doing right now. So it can only be real people who will start. I'm telling you. preacher or not. It's a serious thing. A very serious thing. But I want you to bring it to the people. Read down. Let's work. And thou Bethlehem in the land of Judea. Thou Bethlehem in the land of Judea. I'm not the least among the princes. Are you not the least among the princes of Israel? Out of shall come but a out of you will come a governor. Read. Shall rule my people Israel. He will rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had privately. The Bible said, them, and Herod, when he had privately gathered them, inquired of them diligently. What time? Ye, what time? Or per even time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and set diligently for the young child. And when he had found him, bring me word again that I may come and my God, him. read it. When he had heard the king, they departed and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them. So it came and stood over where the young child was. Exactly how they interpret the scriptures, it came to pass. And I'm telling you that this corona thing we are seeing have been already documented in here, it is in the scriptures. The Bible has already outlined it. It's in the scriptures. And in Isaiah chapter 9, the noise and the cry of people crying in turmoil has already been outlined in the word of the Lord. Isaiah chapter number 13, verse number 4, 5, and 6. But when you get to 9 and 11, it is serious. Now, will you come here from Behold, the day of the Lord coming. Cruel both with wrath and fierce anger Read. to lay the land desolate, and oh. he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellation thereof shall not give their light, and the sun shall be darkened and it's going the to. The world is in darkness at the moment. The world is in darkness. There is a Chinese billionaire who died from Corona. His mansion is sitting there doing nothing. You know, his cars, his company sitting doing nothing his money couldn't buy him life seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness all other things will be added now you see in corona you are not interested for so many things and so paul said it very categorically clear i count all things but dunk all that are useless 
The only thing that is profitable to me is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. At this moment, I'm telling the whole world, come to Jesus. He is the answer to coronavirus, period. The only answer to coronavirus, period. The only answer to coronavirus, period. Will you read the word? And I'll punish the world for, for their evil. Can you start verse 4 again and let's see. Tell Pastor Medi that job is very important to me. His only job is that. Please. Read the word. The noise of a multitude of the mountains, like that of a great people, a tumultuous noise of the kingdoms of nations gathered together. The Lord of hosts mastered the host of the battle. They come from a far country and from the end of heaven, even the Lord and the weapons of his indignation, to destroy the whole land. How ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed. One at another, their faces shall be as flames. Behold, the day of the Lord coming, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the hand the, the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. Hey, my God, for the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their mercy, mercy, Lord, mercy. The Bible said, and when David saw the plague killing over 70,000 people, he ran and prostrate on the altar and said, Mercy, Lord, it is me that have sinned. Not the people. Be merciful. In your wrath, remember mercy. Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. Revive thy works in the midst of the years. Remember mercy. Remember mercy. Tonight we are calling on the Lord and the heavens. Be merciful. 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 Read the word of God. I will stand upon my watch. I will stand upon my watch. And send me upon the tower. Read the word. And I will watch to see what he will say unto me. And what I will also answer to him. And the Lord answered me. And the Lord answered and me. And said, Write the vision. And make it plain upon on tables. That ye may run, that read it. Come. For the vision is here for an appointed time. And it shall come to pass. And not lie. And not lie. Though it tarry. Even though it tarries, wait, wait for it. Because it will surely come. And it shall not tarry. Oh my God. Read the next verse. Behold, his soul which is lifted up. His soul. Which is lifted in him is not upright, but the just shall live by faith. Shall live by faith, read that. Yeah, also because he transgressed by wine, he is a proud man, neither keep it at home, T who alighted his desire T of hell, T and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gather it unto him all nations, and heap it upon him all people. Read it. Shall not all these take up a parable against him, and a Townsend proverb against him, and say, Woe to him that increased which is not his? Chapter 3, verse number 1. Read the word, chapter 3, verse 1. A prayer of Habakkuk the prophet upon Shignonoth. Shik Read it. Oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Oh Lord, revive thy work in Revive the thy work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make known. Yeah, in the midst of the years, make known. In wrath, remember mercy. In your anger, remember mercy. Mercy, Father, mercy. Mercy, for the sake of the righteous, mercy. For the sake of the elect, Mercy for the sake of the covenanted mercy, mercy, Lord, mercy, mercy. We cry for mercy, mercy on America, mercy on Italy, mercy on South Korea, mercy on the Republic of Iran, mercy on all the nations, including Ghana and Nigeria and South Africa. Mercy, oh God, mercy, mercy. We cry for mercy. We are asking you for mercy. Be merciful. Turn the plague around and by the blood of Jesus, let the plague stop. Mercy. We pray. Huh. You know what you are reading, Willie? See, the nations will cry in turmoil. It is very interesting. I'm going to bring my message to a close, but before I do so, I, I, I realize that this coronavirus has been stated categorically in so many scriptures. Isaiah 24. Isaiah 24, 21 and 22. Get your pens ready. 
You are students of prophecy and of the word. Document these things and go on your knees and cry out for mercy. The Lamb of God can forgive and this plague, I am going to end by telling you this plague, it shall stop. Be at peace. Be at peace. Read it, will you? And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high. And the kings this of is the earth. exactly the case of the earth. Upon the earth. Oh, yeah. And he will punish them. Now I realize that presidents have been punished. Economies have crashed. Economies have crashed. Read the word. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in a pit. Uh, would I do you see? The world will gather, kings will gather as prisoners in a pit. And shall be shut up in a prison. They will be shut up. And as we will be asking them, we call it lockdown. Nations are closed down. All these things are in the scriptures, but the people do not know. And after oh, that, America. America. Now, South Africa is saying it, and if America is even coming, we won't allow them. America is also saying, South Africa, we won't allow you. Nobody wants to allow anybody because we are all on the lockdown. Read the word. And after many days, shall be visited. Time for. Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed when the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. Read the previous, the two previous verses again. I want you to know emphatically this particular verse of scripture. Note it very clearly and let's see. Will it kick out you too? And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are... The host of the high ones will be punished. It is prophetic. Jesus said it must come. Read the word. And the kings of the earth upon the earth. The kings of the earth will be punished upon the earth. And they shall be gathered together as prisoners are gathered in the pit. They will be gathered together as prisoners in the pit. And shall be shut up in the prison. And they will be shut up in the prison. And after many days. Exactly what is happening in the world right now. Everybody has been shut up. Shut up. But this was in the Bible. Which is in your house. And you didn't know that this was coming. When I was screaming in this place that uh, there are certain things, that all the things that shall come to pass and we shall stand before the Son of Man. You didn't believe it, but now it is in your face. It is right in your eyes. But there is hope. There is hope. And this is the hope. Read on, will you? And after many days, after many days, shall there be visited. He didn't say months. Note. This is simple English. After many days, they shall be visited. The Lord will visit us. Yeah. There is something profound. And it was God that made Jeremiah to prophesy that the nation of Israel will go into exile. But the amazing thing really is that when they went into exile, God raised up other prophets to be with them in the exile. Ezekiel was in exile. Few other of the prophets were in exile, but they were still prophesying to the nation of Israel because the prophetic ministry is to lift you up and to um, encourage and inspire you and motivate you and empower you. They were in exile, yet they trusted the Lord. We are in a turmoil, but we are believing God, ladies and gentlemen. We are believing the Lord. We are believing the Lord. What do you think, guys? Then the moon shall be confounded and the sun ashamed. When the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem and before his ancients gloriously. This is amazing. This is amazing. And then, you know, uh, I'm looking carefully at some very profound statements in that particular thing. After many days, they shall be visited. Kind of them. Then the moon shall be confounded. The moon will be shut up. And the sun will shake. The sun will be ashamed. Everybody that laughed at the world for this corona will be ashamed, including Satan and his cohorts. They will be ashamed. When the Lord of hosts shall reign in Mount Zion. The Lord of hosts will reign in Mount Zion. And in Jerusalem. And in Jerusalem. And before his ancient glory. And it before his ancient glory. Gloriously. Gloriously. My God. Have you ended? Yes, please. This ended. Now, I want you to note that particular, you know, verse of scripture because it is amazing in its own presentation, you know, how the word of the Lord had been outlined. But, you know, when he was outlining and bringing some of this summation, he brought in Ezekiel chapter 30. Ezekiel also prophesied, you know, Ezekiel 33 and 4. Ezekiel 30, 
3 and 4 there was a revelation in the we read it. for the day is near the day is near even the day of the lord is near even the day of the lord is near a cloudy day it's a clear day it's a cloudy day it shall be the time of the heathen read it. and the sword shall come upon egypt and great pain shall be in ethiopia hey. when the slain shall fall in egypt the slain will fall in egypt and they shall take away her multitude and her foundation shall be broken down this is Corona. This is Corona. Read out. Ethiopia and Libya and Libya and all the mingled people and chop and the men of the land that is in league shall fall with them by the sword. When I see the people falling, if somebody had told me that British Airways were ground airlines, I wouldn't believe. And Italia, I wouldn't believe. Lufthansa, I wouldn't believe. KLM, I would not believe. A sick Nobody is working. All everybody is shutting down. In the midst of Corona, Ghana, we don't have water. Look at the people fighting over water in Tishi. And Kanianso in Tininginas. Kanianso in Tininginas. As I speak to you, there is power outages in the whole vicinity. We don't have power, you know, and all that. We are using a generator, air conditioners are not working properly, and all that. Why and I walk on myself? I want to tell the world, repent, repent, turn back, and the Lord will forgive your sins. Repent and turn back, and the Lord will forgive and restore in the name of Jesus. I want you to, you know, will you read very quickly uh, Isaiah 27, verse 1? Isaiah, what you can't hear, maybe once and what Isaiah prophesied some very serious things of the Lord. Isaiah chapter 27 verse 1. In that day the Lord with his sword and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan the piercing serpent. Even Leviathan that crooked serpent, serpent. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. When you look at the word Leviathan it is a type or a, a breed of a serpent or a snake. Now that Leviathan represents the Jezebelic spirit the system that rules the world today. So when the Bible said he will punish the Leviathan, what the Bible prophetically or etymologically or synoptically or uh, metaphorically is saying is that he will punish the system of the world. Pornography, homosexuality, lesbianism, adultery, promiscuity, wickedness, Decadence, sexual perversion. He will punish the Leviathan. When he finished, he went into. He will punish the the one in the sea. The, the crooked serpent. No. And he shall slay the dragon that is in the, the sea. The dragon that is in the sea. When he said Corona, it emerged from a seafood shop. I don't care the interpretations you will give to it, but a spirit from the sea hit the earth. I'm telling you, no Akasa prophetically, it takes only people with spiritual understanding to be able to understand that revelation that is in there. King God, Bible, in that day, sing ye unto her, a vine out of red wine. Read. I, the Lord, do keep it. I will water it every moment, lest any hurt it. I will keep it night and day. Fury is not in me. Who will set the briars and thorns against me in battle? I will go through them, I will bend them together. Or let them take hold of my strength, that he may make peace with me, and he shall make peace with me. He shall cause them that come to, come of Jacob to take root. Israel shall blossom and bud, and fill the face of the world with Did fruit. He listen, read. Had he smitten him, as he smote those that smote him, or is he slain according to the slaughter of them that were that are slain by him? Read the word. In a measure, when it shooteth forth, thou wilt debate with it. He stayed his rough wind in the day of the east wind. By this, therefore, shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged, and this is all the fruit to take away his sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, and gross and images shall not stand up. Yet the defense city shall be desolate and the habitation forsaken. The Nanesi. The Nanesi. Kind of from and left like a wilderness. There shall, there shall the calf feed, and there shall he lie down and consume the branches thereof. Kind when of the bow thereof are withered, 
they shall be broken off. The women come and set, for, set them on fire. For it is a people of no understanding. Therefore, he that made them will not have mercy on them. And he that formed them will show them no favor. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channel of the river unto the stream of Egypt. And these shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day that a great trump reason that a great trumpet shall blow and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria and the outcast in the land of Egypt and shall worship the Lord in the host holy mount in other words there shall be restoration God will cure this coronavirus all that the Lord is looking for humble yourself Mahantan can kind of emra from humble yourself and repent this is a punishment. Anybody who says otherwise have lied to you. This, I was listening to the news last night. A pastor was speaking from South Korea and said, we didn't want to read any theological thing into this. We didn't want to say we've seen and that's why this is coming. I said, pastor, pastor, pastor. Yeah, me pastor, please. Yeah, bro, what are you talking about? Repent and let your sins be forgiven, and the Lord will restore you accurately. America, be at peace, there shall be restoration. You can be at peace, there shall be restoration. Only repent and turn from your wickedness. Only tear, repent and turn from your maliciousness. Only return, and the Lord will have mercy again on you. Will he? I want you to, you know, let's finish up with Amos chapter 5, 18. Amos chapter 5, verse number 18. And then, you know, when people will say, oh, but this is, this is, uh, he is talking about Old Testament. So I will want to quote a few scriptures from the New Testament and then we will close. Read the word. Woe unto, unto you that desire the day of the Lord. Read. To what end is it for you? Co the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Hey. Read. As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on a wall and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be dark, darkness? Shall not, not light, the day of the Lord be darkness and not, and not light, light? Even very dark and no brightness in it. Read. I hate, I despise your feast days and I will not smell in your solemn. Listen to that. Read the word. Though you offer me burnt offerings and your and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beast. Read. Take thou away from me the noise of thy songs, for I will not hear the melody of thy violence. I'm telling you, this is a moment of repentance. You repent or perish. I'm telling you. Repent! Restoration is coming. Repent. This morning, this evening, you know, I want us to read Revelation chapter 6, 15 to 17. Revelation 6, 16 to 17. And then we'll finish up with uh, uh, Matthew. And then we are going to be on our way. Read the word of and God. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of... You know what is, this is what the world is saying. If you will kill us, kill us. We will say to the mountains, fall on us. And if we die, we die. Read. And hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne Read. and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of his wrath is come. Read. And who shall be able to stand? Oh yeah, who can be able to stand? Uh, the day, the wrath of God. Can I be from Let's see. You know, let's go to read Matthew. Uh, let's go to read Matthew. Uh, before uh, Matthew, no, I can go Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse three, and then right after that we'll read Matthew, and then I'll bring in my message to uh, Spivot, and then I'm going to pray with God's people. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there come a falling away first, <laughs> and that man of sin be revealed, my the son of God. Perdition. Who opposed and exalted himself above all that is called God or that is worship, so that he as God seated in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Read. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things, and now you know what withholded he that might be revealed in his time. Read. For the mystery of iniquity do it already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. Read. And then shall the wicked be revealed. Whom the God, wicked will be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth Read. and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. God. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all the power and science and lying wonders and with all deceivableness of our right Science lying wonders. Where I can't want to lying wonders. 
camera from and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved and for that cause God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but have pleasure in unrighteousness but we are bound to give thanks always to God for you brethren beloved of the Lord because God had from the beginning chosen you to salvation God has chosen you to what salvation, salvation. chosen you to what salvation through sanctification I want to end with that salvation in Christ Jesus the Bible said there is no name given unto the sons of men to be saved by the name of Jesus he is the savior of the world he is the shepherd he is the light he is the way the truth and the love of the world no man cometh unto the father except through Jesus Christ there will be restoration as you read in I think it was in Isaiah the the, the, the two previous ones or is it Ezekiel rather you know there shall be restoration the Lord will restore his people this plague will stop this plague it will stop he will restore the years the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar have devoured he will gather his people again this is a call to repentance and I'm telling everybody in this place don't harden your heart as the day of rebellion, as the Bible said in the book of Hebrews. Do not harden your heart. Come to the Lord and the Lord will save you and show you his mercy. Today I'm going to pray for the world and I ask the grace of God to have mercy on the world and restore the world and be, you know, extremely gracious. We will pray and ask God, arise, O God, and stop the plague. Arise and silence the plague. Arise and condemn the plague. Arise and abort and twat the plague. Arise in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are watching us from, we want to join in to pray for the next three or four to five minutes and then we will be wrapping up. But before we do so, if you don't know Christ Jesus as Lord and personal Savior, if you have fallen into sin and you want to come back to the Lord, if you want the Lord to restore you and, uh, you know, reposition uh, you and restitute you and your life come back to the place of honor right now. Can you share the page for me? This is the most important part of what i'm doing right now i want you to share the page i want somebody to come on right now and receive of the goodness of the lord and the love of god and the grace of god like never before i'm telling you we are having church without walls church now we've taken the church out of the walls and people all around the world must hear it the message must be preached the gospel of Jesus Christ must be presented. Jesus has lifted his arms and spread it. Come unto me, all ye that labor are heavy, laden with and encumbered with the load of care, and I will give you rest. My burden is light, my load is easy. Why are you rebelling against such honor? The Bible said, I came unto my own, but my own did not receive me. This night is a night of restoration. I want us to, you know, pray this prayer. Can you pray this prayer with me and say, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Forgive me of all my sins. Make me born again. Make me born again. Make me a new creation. Make me a new creation. Renew me. Renew me. Create in me. Create in me. A clean heart, O oh God. A clean heart, O oh God. And renew a right spirit. And renew a right spirit. Within me. Within me. Cast me not from your presence. Cast me not from your presence. Take Take not your spirit from me. Take not your spirit from me. Restore unto me. Restore unto me the joy of your salvation. The joy of your salvation. And renew. And renew a right spirit. A right spirit within me. Within me. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus for your children and your people, and I'm asking for your hand of blessing over their lives like never before. In Jesus' precious name, be merciful and restore your people. I thank you that this is the beginning of many wonderful things to come. I thank you that your names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And I thank you that this is the beginning of the joy that the world will experience in 2020. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Somebody shout Amen. Now I want us to pray for only three minutes. We're lifting up, you know, prayers. Agreement prayers. Let God stop this plague. In the name of Jesus, can I hear your voice? Play bra 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 bra. We speak in the name of Jesus. 
yet there by the power of our God. In the name of Jesus. Corona, be silent. Be silent. Be silent. Be silent. Bada, bada. Bow, be bow. Red, bow. Bada. Abandon. Bada. Diva. Bada. Bada. Kilo, bada, 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 in the name of Jesus, we command every spirit behind this play. Back off! In Jesus' name. Rada, Rada. We apply the blood. 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 asking God to show mercy. Be merciful, Lord. Forgive the sins of the world and let this plague stop. Be merciful, Jesus. Be merciful. Be merciful. Be merciful. Be merciful. Be merciful. Open your mouth. Mercy, Lord. Mercy. 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 Yes, 
Merci Lord. Merci Lord. Merci Lord. Merci. Show mercy. Pray for God. will be for the Republic of Ghana. We are asking God to have mercy on our country. We have recorded the seventh case. As a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, can you imagine the people who have corona but have not reported it or have not been tested? <laughs> the name of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much for joining us. Today, I want to pray. Can touch the many you just screen. Father, mercy in the name of Jesus. 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 Mercy. Mercy on the earth. Mercy on the earth. Mercy on the earth. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy on the Republic of Ghana. Mercy in the name of Jesus. Mercy on our president. Mercy, my God, we pray. Mercy, we pray. Mercy, we pray. Let our country receive favor. In the name of Jesus. Mercy on Ghana. You know that we don't have, we have little strength. This kind of pandemic, for the elect sake, for your name's sake, mercy, we pray. In Jesus' precious name. Now I pray, Heavenly King, in the name of Jesus, I commit every family, every family, every church, every family, every people, and everybody in the land of Ghana or anywhere in the world they are watching us, let your grace abound. In Jesus' precious name. I pray this is trying moment. So, Father, make provision for your people. Now, people who are home, who are not working from around the world, make provision. Miraculously, make a way. Put food on the table of your people. Put raiment on them. Show them mercy. Let them still pay their bills in this craziness. In this plague, show them mercy. I pray in the name of Jesus. That your people will not lack. The elect will not lack. And your covenant will keep them in the name of Jesus. I'm grateful. In the mighty name of Jesus.